He's the Seattle Sounders' biggest signing since Albert Rusnak. He's a 31-year-old Brazilian striker, and his name is Eber. Who is he? Where does he slot into? And what are my overall thoughts on Eber joining the Seattle Sounders, as this looks like to be our only big-name signing going into the 2023 season? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Rave Green TV. And in for today's video, we're going to be talking about the Seattle Sounders new signing, Eber. Eber Araujo dos Santos, also known as Eber, has signed for the Seattle Sounders till 2023 with a club option for 2024. I know this is a little bit late from the initial announcement of the signing when we unveiled him as a Sounders player, but I thought the team was going to sign more players at this point in the transfer window before a Club World Cup campaign, but it looks like Eber is going to be our own only signing. So that is the reason behind why this video has come out a lot later than you all probably anticipated. But either way, let's just talk about Eber. He came into the league in 2019, joining NYCFC, getting 30 goals and seven assists in 90 appearances spread out through three seasons. But where does he slot in for the Seattle Sounders? He is a striker, but can also play on the left and right wing. But Brian Schmetzer has come out and stated that Eber will only be a striker for us. We all know Raul Ruiz Diaz is the Seattle Sounders main striker but he will get injured a couple of times throughout the season as he has done in previous years. And those have notoriously been the moments when the Seattle Sounders have struggled the most throughout the season when Raul Ruiz Diaz is unavailable. I believe the plan with Eber is he will be the guy to fill in for Raul Ruiz Diaz when he's injured or unavailable to slot into our striker position. The goals and role that Eber played with NYCFC is very similar to Raul Ruiz Diaz at the Seattle Sounders. So if Ruiz Diaz is unavailable, which he will likely be, B, Eber should be a seamless slot in at the striker position for our team. Eber brings in a lot of experience to the team, winning titles in Europe, playing in the Champions League and Europa League, and winning the 2021 MLS Cup. I'm a really big fan of what he brings to the locker room. He was a fan favorite amongst NYCFC fans and players, as they speak very highly about him, saying that he brought in very positive energy to the locker room and tried to build a really close connection to the club. So I'm hoping Eber can transit that same type of energy with the Seattle Sounders. My biggest concern is in 2020, after he tore his ACL, you could tell Eber lost a step in his game, as you could tell from his drop-off in goals compared to previous seasons. And that is why NYCFC fans were actually surprised and happy that the Seattle Sounders picked up Eber, as they thought his legs were gone. Now, where do I stand with this signing? I felt it was a bit underwhelming from the Seattle Sounders. He's on the older side, and I genuinely thought that we needed something fresh on the offensive end. We saw our lack in productivity in the goal department, I felt that is what cost us not making the playoffs last season. We lack that speed and creativity in the final third, and outside of Jordan Morris, this team is crying out for someone with some pace. <laughs> yeah, boy. I do think Eber does help us in filling in that hole when Raul Ruiz Diaz is unavailable, but this team is already on the older side when it comes to players up top. I'm not saying he was the player that the Seattle Sounders should have signed, but maybe look into someone with a similar mold of Brandon Vasquez, as he is on the younger side in 24. He's proven he can score goals in the league and just has the potential to improve season after season. But boys and girls, my opinion only matters so much. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What do you guys rate the signing of Eber out of 10 for our beloved Seattle Sounders? Do you think the club is going to make one sneaky transfer before the start of the 2023 MLS season? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure to smash the like button on today's video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I hope you all have a lovely day.